it's known by a lot of people that barbers are almost like a therapist. You have to be a good listener if you want to do barbering to a level that we are now. Yeah. Hello, my name is Yao Ncheje. I'm from Ghana and a black change maker. I schooled in Ghana up to university level and then I moved to Canada back in 2013 to do my masters. And I'm a barber <laughs> by profession. Yeah, that's Yao. And an entrepreneur as well. I've been cutting hair for quite a long time, since I was like 11 or 12. My uncle used to cut hair, so whenever that I finished school, I ran straight to where he cut hair, tried to clean around, and he would give me uh, some tutorials. They showed me a few things. And Thango I was a very creative person, so it was it wasn't difficult for me to pick up the things that he tried to teach me. Back home, being a barber is a preserve for either a truant or non-educated. People don't get into barbering after going through all the levels of education. So it's hard to get into that. But when I moved to Canada, it was a different situation here. It's something that you get satisfaction from if you do well. It's something that pays well if you are good at what you do. I don't think cutting hair requires a lot of philosophy, but dealing with people in general, you need a bit of understanding what they are thinking and try to like put yourself in their shoes and know what is good to do. 